And I feel like this is one of the reasons why our platform, Earn Your Leisure, why Market Mondays, why, why we shook the game, I think we surprised a lot of people, right? Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I personally think that the previous blueprint to be successful when you're black is climb up the ladder and make sure you kick the ladder down um, and burn the ladder. Exactly, what I'm, exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. So, so that count, we're, we're counterculture, right? Like we're counterculture to just provide free information and share and, and, and do these different things. Um, that's something that I think wasn't around back then. So when you look at our previous icons, they, they're not looked at as people that have shared a lot of information. Is there, my question is this, is it their responsibility to share information? Cause I spoke to Steve Stout about this before, but I was just, I was listening to a whole bunch of people. Right. And he's like, um, yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm like, why? He's like, look, it's not, he's like, he was like, it's not their responsibility to teach people. He was like, that's your responsibility. He was like, so you study what they do, you get the information, and now you're the bridge from the clouds to the ground. He's like, this whole, it has to work like that. He's like, their job, you can't expect them to be teachers because they're not teachers. You're a teacher. And when he said that to me, it, it makes actually, sense. it made sense. It made sense. So is it is this somebody's responsibility from the from the culture to share information or no? But that's what I was saying, because you can't really erase the Internet no more. You can't erase the Internet, nor you nor can you erase what you've done in life. And I'm talking to all y'all scammers out there like this shit is getting ridiculous. Mm. It's getting ridiculous to the point where you're weird. Your <laughs> girl is weird for dating, you knowing you a fucking scammer because they want you to fall. They want mm. you to fail. And all we do post-1996 is make everything about this big moment when we're not living like that. Then we got to do the extra shit we're not supposed to do to live this type of life. And then we in a fucking, you know what I'm saying, a, a tornado we can't get up out of. And that's that's the thing that I'm most sad about now for my people because, like, I don't even do celebrity interviews anymore. Y'all know me. Pandemic, I interview from the president of the United States to your favorite rapper's favorite rapper to your favorite, you know, whatever. But that was yeah. because I'm unpacking shit. It wasn't about no movie. How you doing? You all right? I didn't even know I had childhood trauma until I was walking other people through theirs. Mm. But see, now it's so easy. Somebody cousin can have an interview with some famous motherfucker and it go viral. And then the real media motherfuckers don't get no love. If you're not talking crazy about a motherfucker, nobody's going to hear you. And that's why, like, I was, you know, encouraging y'all from the door to watch who you are associating with because you have such validity and authenticity in your brand. That's why this is going to go for y'all, because to have honest conversations, what people need to hear. But we also still need to be responsible. The only, re the only reason I ever mentioned Puff is because it's a real situation and the motherfuckers going through hell right now. And I don't want none of you motherfuckers to go through that. Mm. I made it out unscathed. How my name ain't in nothing. Cause yeah. I know when the fuck to get the fuck on and you motherfuckers out there don't know when to get the fuck on. Ain't nobody. Listen, I'm telling y'all this and this is real talk at the highest level of business. Everybody got some fucked up shit with them. If you do not believe me, read. Absolutely. All you got to do is read. I'm talking about the best of the best. Elon Musk, Kanye West, Jeff Bezos. If you want to read Jobs. Yep. Steve Jobs, you can find And when you watch the Steve Jobs movie, you're like, damn, how do people deal with him? But my point to you is it is all a means to an end. Nobody's saying walk to Brooklyn for cheesecake. My thing is go in, get, get whatever you want. I'm going to keep busting that gun. Right. Go in, get everything you want out the situation, but have a plan because, ladies and gentlemen, your integrity will be called upon one day, and you got to be prepared to bust a move. But, but let me ask you this, because it, it is a um, and we haven't talked about this situation too much, but it is it is a learning it's a learning point, right? And it's a learning experience, and it's almost like a Shakespearean play, like the rise and fall of a black billionaire, right? Um, where we saw we saw somebody rise to the highest level possible highest level celebrity possible name around the world number one spokesperson and and we, we we watching his fall in real time and it's it's entertaining for a lot of people but it's also it's, it should be a learning point right and you you somebody that you knew puff a long time before we we ever met him since i was 16 
what's the how do we how do we avoid how do we avoid what can we learn from this situation <laughs> and how can we avoid this situation for the young entrepreneurs for the young hustlers that's coming up well we're gonna have another political episode coming up soon i, I feel a, a blackout <laughs> episode coming up. but i think we should first and foremost propel people that you know you know i think we we put a lot of false profits in pocket we put a lot of people that talk a good game but haven't shown that they're really about the community or really about the culture so i think we need to do a little bit more research you know what i'm talking about just because they went viral doesn't mean that they're capable and i think if we can like you know inject that into our frontal lobe into our spirits mm -hmm. you know it will resonate you know and then i think too we need to hold people accountable you know it's like all right young I see you. I'm telling you how to get it. But if you keep doing this, you're going to get this. And you think somebody hating on you until they're right. But who can hold Puff? Nobody can. You can't hold somebody accountable. That's a my billion. That's my the God, problem. My God. Yes, you the universe is holding yeah. them responsible. What are you talking you about? You, you see Floyd. He's isolated, right? Then nobody, nobody can talk. When you get to a certain point but, in time, but, nobody. But you don't have to talk to him, Scotty. What, what's happening to Puff right now is, is the he's doing a God in the cartel. But what I'm saying is, how do you avoid that from happening? You can't avoid it if you don't listen. That's why I respect your crew. Y'all talk to each other. You can you gotta move with integrity. But that's about propelling. The reason I fucking believe in y'all and I give you all every fucking contact, whatever, when you ask, is because I think you're gonna be responsible at the next phase, nigga. But we Sorry. also got we got checks and balances. We got we got in, we got Troy, we got no, but that's my you. point. That's my point. You're saying what's going to keep you from falling off is the right people in place. But we keep propelling the bullshit. That's why I told you early. Stop taking pictures with them motherfuckers. <laughs> a few Ponzi scheme niggas in your pictures. Relax. <laughs> I'm not lying. I didn't say that shit. Good lesson. If I'll pop up in the picture, it's the reason why. No, listen. I, I didn't say I'm that. Stay I, clear. Mean, I don't even know them people. <laughs> but I know people. Everybody come. Real OGs get all the information. Yeah. Not because I'm part owner and ball alert. But I get all the information. I don't be. I use that shit to help. I use that shit yeah. to motivate, inspire, put people in position. Because that's what we're not doing. We're putting the wrong people in position. But you've always been that way. Even like when you superstar in Atlanta, 07, BMF, you were still operating the same way. Off love. That's what Going to AUC. Yeah, yeah. Always I'm operating. Gonna I'm going to tell you something else, Shadi. I'm going to tell you something. This is why I fuck with you and Ian and Troy and AB. And I'm, if I'm forgetting your name, I love you. You know I love you. But like when I, Mike, I love you, Mike. But when I yes, tell Mike. you, when I tell you, I fuck with you because of your musical taste and the way you carry yourself. See, when I was coming up, it was fucking kill or be killed. It was no massaging. It was no try this. It was no, you got it. We going to see how it goes. It was like kill or be killed. And I think that because my mama and them played them records, happy feelings, golden time of day, Mm -hmm. come Teddy Pendergrass, come on and go with me. Then I got into my teenage years and I had Force MDs, Tender Love, and I had a door by Prince. And I'm in the street though. But when I had to make a stupid fucking decision, I thought about my mama. I thought about the good feelings I had of family. You understand me? And that's the missing link. You don't have that no more. Other than and, and Scissor be saying some crazy shit in her shit, but I love Scissor. But I'm just saying, if you look at the message, and Summer Walker's Summer Walker's my, she's not my daughter, but she's my baby girl, like me and my wife. But like she talks about love and heartbreak more than she talk about anything else. That's why she the fucking one out of the ones. You got to get with music that is sensible and puts you in a mood that gives you emotion and feeling, especially if you don't have it in your household. How you gonna know something and you ain't grew up in it? When last time motherfucker been to a family reunion? Can you please tell me? It's Let's been a while. Moment. Yeah, black it's culture is the greater. It's over. The family reunion era is over. It's family over with. But it's it can't over. be because you have a party in New York to celebrate your 40th birthday and all the people you wanted were there. That shows they love and respect you. That's the thing about life. If people love and respect you, they're going to show up for you. But mm -hmm. if you keep scamming, it's two ways. It's only, and I'm talking about scam across the board, doing something you know you ain't got the fucking ability to do, but you, you got an opportunity, and yet you stand on somebody else's neck that can really do it better than you, but you're going to stand it. That's scamming to me. Scamming, taking something that's not shows you fucking thieves. Stealing is not going to be beneficial to your life long term or anybody you're involved with. And then half of these motherfuckers got kids, and then I ain't thinking about the babies. 
Yeah. You got a whole professional life of being an ignorant motherfucker, and you don't think the next generation you're going to be the same thing? It, it's baffling. KB, before we go, I just want one last question. Just take a deep breath, nigga. Did I hit you in your spirit? No, no, no. <laughs> hey. One last question for me. You said something earlier that I want to revisit. You said women are more misogynist than men. I said women are as misogynistic as men, or even more in some. Can, in general or rap? I think in rap. I said, okay. Rap. Yeah. I think women are being held to standards that are unattainable. When you got. Women. When you have 20 year old women whose bodies haven't developed, but yet they go on getting butt jobs and boobs, I'm like, babe, have sex, have baby, you know what I'm saying? Grow up, you know what I'm saying? Get older, shit gonna probably fall where you want it to fall. And I don't think they understand the repercussions from that. So I don't think women have a fair playing, a fair playing field as, as they wake up every morning and they are taught to compete and compare to what's on these social and digital sites. Do you think technology was the ruin of our culture and our music industry? Well, it never was our industry, but the, the industry that we grew up loving. Yeah, we're becoming the robots. I think when you think about like where we are in a you know social digital era, that really it placates on destruction. There's nothing mm -hmm. positive that you know. Seldomly does positivity get through the algorithm, but you damn sure gonna see some titties. You damn sure gonna see your ass or two. You damn sure gonna see the girls beating the shit out of each other. Or, or who the fuck are we? With the with the the mothers of civilization are fighting each other and being prompted to. That's why I don't fuck with Nick Cannon no more. It's like you already wait. What? What? Yeah. what? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All the violence we gonna talk about. Nick, what? Wait. What Nick do? Dog. He has a show on Zeus that's perpetuating the bullshit. What's it? What's and it called? I know Nick. I don't know what the it's called bullshit. <laughs> it's called, <laughs> but it's like it's like it's yeah. like you're taking wild and out and you making it about women beefing. I don't want to see queens in that mode. I don't want to see queens fucking fighting. They are the fucking portals to civilization, past, present, and future. How are we going to be anything without our women? You niggas is retarded for doing that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say the word retarded, but I have a retarded cousin, so I can't say it. The <laughs> point is, you motherfuckers are the worst motherfuckers because it's about money. You can't tell me that's about culture, and that's my mm -hmm. point from 96 till today.